Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope, it, oh gosh, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. If it doesn't resonate, leave the rest. And also keep in mind, guys, that all readings may not resonate in the current moment. They are warnings for the future. So if you're feeling called to watch something, take notes, okay? Take notes. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away two four-question readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Um, just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for for that with a green heart. And then I'm giving away one mystery crystal box, hashtag crystals for that. I normally post those on the first of the month, but guys, I have been crazy busy. I didn't post yesterday. I didn't post this morning. I'm trying to catch up on packaging orders, video readings, and my own personal life. Um, so I should have those out by the end of this week. Thank you for your patience, my loves. I am sorry. Um, what else do I want to tell you? So cancer baby season is upon us. Happy birthday, my darlings. Um, I was doing $10 off phone ratings. I'm going to have to stop that for now because I'm really too booked out, but I'm still taking text readings. Okay. So you can hit me up for that. And usually you get that, uh, the answer to those, uh, in the same day, my cell phone number is below. Um, I'm doing spirit shield tarot and Oracle $22 and 22 cents for the set plus shipping. Um, the info for that is below. I'm doing mystery crystal boxes for $22.22. Very decent size box. Um, and I've gotten a lot of good reviews on it. So um, you get a lot of crystals for that. Okay, my loves, what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, let's get popping here, guys. Spirit, tell me about... Oh, gosh. Tell me about my cancer babies. What do we have here for cancer? So we've got winter. We've got secret love. We have abusive. We've got divorce. We've got delays. And we've got defensive. Okay. Um, and another thing, guys, for those of you who wanted uh, Raven's Rose Oracle, it's back on my website. Cancer, there could be a person here that is a Scorpio, a Sag, a Capricorn, Aquarius, or a Pisces. This could have taken place this past winter or this upcoming winter that's coming in. We have defensive here delays. Oh, why did I just hear something interesting? Cancer, I am not sure if this has to do with you. So you're going to, Bobo and Freya. So I'm not sure if this has to do with you or someone in your energy. This could be a vibe. This could be a vibe of a person that you know is going through something very difficult, like a divorce or an abusive situation. And I think that cancer, you got frustrated and pulled away. So let's just say this is a friend or a family member and you were trying to tell this person, listen, you're in an abusive situation, you deserve better and you're pulling away. Or cancer, this could be that you're in a relationship with somebody and they're cheating and they're, you know, it's becoming abusive and you just want it to be over. And you just want it to be over. So keep in mind in this particular reading, okay, um, this could either be you that's going through this or it could be someone that you know. Now, I feel like, Cancer, th if this is you, you were very defensive towards this person. You were delaying an ending here. Like when people would tell you, listen, this person's not into you. Listen, they're cheating. Listen, they don't respect you. You would defend this person. 
or cancer, if this is someone that you know and love and you were like, listen, this person's a cheater, they're a liar, you deserve better, you, this friend or family member or whoever would protect this abusive person. They would protect this abusive person. Hang on one second, guys. Okay, my loves. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancers, please. Tell me about my cancers, please. So we've, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. Okay, so cancer. Let's just say that you are in a relationship and you have a friend or a family member that's telling you, cancer, please leave this person. Cancer, please, like this is that one friend or that one family member where you're like, why do you keep attacking my person? Like, this isn't your relationship. Like, I understand I complain to you about certain things, but why do you have this hatred towards my person? Like, dude, relax, you know? Uh, I'll tell you why. Because Cancer, your person came on to them. Your person came on to a friend or a family member of yours. And what this friend or family member did was they got extremely offended for you, okay? For you. Y you know, your person may have went towards this friend or family member and said, listen, you know, I really like you. You want to kind of mess around or do something, right? And your friend was loyal to you. You know, your friend was loyal to you. With fantasy here and desire cancer, you know, this person went towards, you know, a, a, a friend or family member of yours and said, listen, I fantasize about you. This is someone that's hitting on one of your friends and family members. So cancer, if you're in a relationship and you've got a friend or a family member that absolutely despises your person, this could be why. Now, cancer, it could be you that despises one of your friends or family members, uh, you know, partner because they came on to you and you don't have the heart to tell your friend or family member, like, listen, leave them. Your person was trying to, you know, get me in bed last night. Your person was sending me dick pics or nudes last night. Please just get away from this person. You, you may not have the heart to come forward or be honest, or maybe your friend or family member doesn't have the heart to come forward and break your heart that way, but they're begging you. Someone here is begging you and saying, please leave this person, please. And whoever is in the relationship here is delaying and defending the, the, the douchebag here, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? That is hitting on their friend. Okay or family member. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. We've got the justice card, Libra energy, and the lover's card, Gemini energy. We have the seven of cups and the queen of swords. Someone here is mind blown. Are you hitting me? How dare you? ask this of me. How dare you? How dare you? You know, so cancer, if this is one of your friends, there's a sense of, do you think I would ever, and I mean, ever do something like that to cancer or cancer. If this is one of, you know, you know, this it, it's an, it's an indecent proposal. Cancer, you could be in a relationship with someone and, you know, your partner's brother or sister could be hitting on you. It's an energy of how dare you, how dare you, how dare you tell me about cancer, please. It's like the audacity. Like, are you kidding me? Tell me about cancer, please. The sun card, Leo energy. And the page of cups. Yeah. A person is coming forward and making a proposal. 
they're saying, hey, you know, listen, I, I'm really into you. You want to kind of fool around? And Cancer with divorce here and Hierophant under the deck, Taurus energy, this, you know, someone here could be actually married, like legally married. There's a sense of friendship or family here. You know what this looks like, Cancer? Like it's you, your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you guys have a cookout, it's summertime, and you know, your best friend is there, or you know, th their best friend is there, and you know, you go upstairs to go to sleep because you're drunk and you're passed out, and your person hits on your best friend. And your best friend is sitting there like, are you insane? Cancer's upstairs sleeping, we are in your house, and your disrespect is just off the chain right now. The Seven of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Someone here obviously said no, got offended, but now they're stressed. Now they're stressed and they have no idea how to tell the person that they're, they care about that this happened. Someone here is holding on to a massive secret. And what they're doing is instead of exposing the secret, they're, they're very like adamantly, viciously trying to get someone to leave their person. Like, you know, you don't know what I know, you know, the Knights of Wands and the Hanged Man. What this person is hoping is that whoever here is being cheated on or disrespected will wake the hell up and realize that they are with a horrendous person that with the, the four of cups here and the wheel of fortune that, you know, the person that's being cheated on or lied to will understand that this person does not deserve to be on a pedestal. This is not your forever soulmate. This is not, this person's not the miracle of your life. They are not the best thing that's ever happened to you. Okay. With the king of swords, this person wants to come forward and speak their truth, but they're holding it in. They're holding it in. And I think that it's because this person doesn't want to hurt the person that, you know, they care about, their friend or a family member, okay? We've got the Queen of Wands here, and we've got the Five of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. The problem is, the problem that we're having here is, is this person's not stopping. So... I have to put this reading in one direction, Cancer, because or else it's going to get sloppy, okay? So let me let me choose a direction, and then you place the characters the way they need to be placed, okay? Let's say you're the one in a relationship, and it's your person that's hitting on one of your friends or your family members. Because your friend or family member is not coming forward to speak the truth, all they're doing is, you know, banging on your head morning, noon, and night about leaving your person. Even though, Cancer, this friend or family member appears to have this seething hatred over your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, and you actually start to defend your person because you feel like it's a little over the top, right? Right? The, your person's not stopping because you, this friend or family member is not coming forward with the truth. So your person is under the assumption that, oh, they want it. Oh, they like it. They're not blowing up my spit. So they're playing hard to get. But that's not the case. That's not the case. And every time your friend or family member receives the page of wands is passionate communication. Page of wands and the eight of wands. Your person is blowing up this friend or family's phone. They're sending nudes. They're sending dick pics. They're sending all this stuff. And the more they do it, the more your friend or family member gets offended for you. Like, are you crazy with the five of wands here? Are you insane? Page of Pentacles, again, friend or family member here, Cancer, is telling you, Nine of Pentacles, please, you're so much better than this. Please, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're gorgeous, you're established, you have your shit together. Please, with the Five of Pentacles, leave this person. Please think about what, what you have going on with this individual. Please, please, please. I, I feel like what's happening is this friend or family member is honest to God trying to rack their brain with this hermit energy trying to figure out how to tell you how to tell you 
Cancer, this could even be, let me just put this out there also, okay? This could even be a situation, Cancer, where you date someone and their friends and family members are dropping hints to you that you're with someone that's not a good person. And that's because they see your person um, dating and pursuing other options, okay? Like there could be someone here on your person side that's kind of like, you know, you could do so much better. You could do so much better, right? You know, um, you're such a great person. You know, why are you with my son? Why are you with my brother? You know, if you, if your person has family members cancer that are talking to you in this way, they're trying to drop hints. Now you may get offended and try to defend your person and be like, why would you talk bad about your child? Why would you talk bad about your brother or your sister? Or, you know, why would you talk bad about your bad best friend? You know, okay, yeah, I know I'm a good person. I'm a great catch, but wouldn't you want that for your child, your best friend, your brother, your sister, right? Like you almost get offended for your person that your person's family members or whatever are talking about them in this way. But Cancer, they're doing that because they know, they see that you're a good person and they know that your person is messing around behind your back. So there's an energy here of Cancer, an outside person, whether it's on your side, whether it's on their side. Okay, an outside person knows what your person does. Now, let's just say this is a brother or a sister of your person. Your person with this page of wands, the eight of wands, the queen of wands, and the five of wands tells their brother or sister about this. Oh man, I, I met this chick last night. You got us that juicy booty on this one. Oh man, I met this dude last night. Freaking, you know, just uh, Greek God. Okay. Just, just, oh my Lanta. Okay. So there is, you know, it can be either your person is hitting on a friend or a family member of yours. It could be that this is a friend or family member of your person's that has to sit there and listen and see that you put your person on the pedestal of all pedestals, that you think that this person is literally a gift from God, and they know what's happening behind your back. So if someone here is dropping hints on your person's side, listen. Cancer, if you've got a friend or a family member on your side that hates your person with a passion, listen. Okay, listen to them. Listen to them. Nothing at this point is being said to you for no reason. You're being called to read between the lines. Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. How do I tell Cancer without telling Cancer? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How it's a it's a difficult some you know you have uh, one or more people here maybe that is just like how do I tell Cancer? without telling cancer because cancer is head over heels in love cancer thinks that you know cancer is sitting in divine feminine energy cancer thinks that this person is their their emperor cancer thinks that this is the love of their life cancer is sitting here putting all this work into the connection cancer thinks that this person is an angel or cancer just is in a peaceful energy refusing to see the truth cancer is you know over here trying to plan in a future, cancer is going to be very disappointed. Cancer is going to regret this, wasting their time and wasting their life on this. You know, cancer needs to put an end to this. Cancer needs to leave this person, okay? Whoever this is, they can see you wasting multiple years of your life. Oh, I just scratched my eyeball. Um, whoever this is, they can see you wasting multiple years of your life or a lot of time on someone that really isn't worth it. And they know for a fact it's not worth it. And they're really hoping that that light bulb goes off, that you read between the lines, that you catch on to what they're trying to tell you. Okay. We could be dealing with a Virgo. We could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, a Gemini, a Libra. Okay. 
All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed. Or Sagittarius, guys. Or Sag, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed. I love you all so much, and I will see you soon. And thank you for your patience. Happy birthday, my love.